putting a plastic bag over an air conditioning unit and then inhaling the Freon. And it can have deadly consequences. KTLA 5 Stephen Chase is in Victorville with a story of a 12-year-old girl who lost her life to this tragic trend. Good evening, everyone. It's something difficult to think about, but one in five students has used an inhalant to get high by the time they're in the eighth grade, a statistic that's hit home here at Mesa Linda Middle School with the recent death of a seventh grade girl. Coming home and see my granddaughter lay on the floor, grandkids crying, everything, not knowing, not knowing what happened. Crystal Salcedo lived here with her grandma and little cousins. It's here in the backyard by the AC unit where the family says Crystal found easy access to the chemical Freon. She inhaled it, later passing out in her grandma's bathroom. Her family says there were never warning signs of Crystal's dangerous behavior. And this little girl that you know was so innocent that how could, I, how could I know? Crystal was pronounced brain dead at a local hospital. Her family made the difficult choice to take her off life support four days later. So I was like really close to her and she was always there when, she, when like I need someone to talk to. Friends at Mesa Linda remember Crystal as kind, vivacious, and popular. I didn't even know that could happen to somebody, like, but they said that she didn't know like what well, could happen. Crystal isn't alone. According to inhalants.org, an anti-drug website, one in five students has inhaled a chemical to get high by the time they're in the eighth grade. It's often called huffing, dusting, or bagging. The consequences can be brain, liver, or heart damage. In Crystal's case, it was deadly. Now I'm very, very worried about it because it's going on everywhere. I was growing up, it was easy. Mom says, no, don't mess with it. You don't do it, but peer pressure. It could be what the friends are doing or what's cool. Yes, a lot of things. Ron Pistoian and his sons own this air conditioning company in Hesperia. Ron says he serviced plenty of units where the Freon had suspiciously been used up. When they huff it, it gets stuck in their lungs and it, it, it won't come up. There's no high. It's just that euphoria of not having any oxygen. He says something as simple as installing these safety lock caps can prevent access to Freon. This is what we're doing to keep kids safe now. Crystal's grandmother hopes parents are listening. She wishes she still had the chance to shield young Crystal from something so dangerous. Freon is, oh, it's, it's ugly, it's dangerous. I didn't know kids were doing those things. And while Crystal's friends prepare for spring break in just a few weeks, her family is finishing up last-minute details for her upcoming funeral. Reporting from Victorville, Stephen Chase, KTLA 5 News.